What's that? A raven? Rather a common sight at this latitude. Very intelligent fowl. I asked him to look for the creatures you mentioned. Him and hmm. his brethren. Perhaps they'll find one in the area, and I would hazard that a flock of ravens will spy any said creature faster than a solitary witcher would. With all due respect your skills, hmm. my friend. It will take them some time, nonetheless. So, perhaps you'd care for a snifter of mandrake. You know what? Let's do it. Let's catch up. Rarely say no to a snifter. Sadly, this is but a weak infusion rather than a proper distillate. Even better. I remember your mandrake hooch. Made people say things they'd have rather kept to themselves. <laughs> now, what could Geralt of Rivia prefer to keep to himself? Like, besides everything? Everyone's got some secret. I agree wholeheartedly. I also believe it wise at times to share one's secrets, unburden oneself to those one can trust. This your sophisticated way of asking me if I trust you? I prefer almost always to ask you directly. It seems a test of intelligence, one you just passed. Hmm. Maybe you should go first. Reveal one of your secrets. After all, huh. you vampires lead very interesting good. lives. Anything in particular interest you? Yeah, um... Where have you been? Just what's generally happened with Curious you? Curious what you did after you were reborn. As I'm sure you can surmise, but first I was thoroughly absorbed with recovering. As it is, I still not recovered completely. Yet I was so weak the first year that I could not stand nor move on my own. Detlaf bore my weakness bravely, showed great patience. If not for him, I wouldn't be here, and I'd have regenerated far slower. Once I could at last stand unassisted, I set off for Bruges, for my one-time home of Dillingen. There I led the peaceful life of a rural healer and surgeon, enjoying my neighbour's respect and, in fact, constituting the exact opposite of the monstrous vampire the populace imagines. Bruges, you say? Rebirth make you sentimental? Perhaps, a Dash. But what of you? Where have you been? Ever find your Cirilla? Did we ever. Back then, yeah, but we parted again soon after, and when the time was ripe, she came back, defeated the wild hunt together. Ooh, seems I certainly missed quite a bit while I was absent. True enough, but it's a conversation we'll have another time. Need to know more about you now. So, I guess you're technically dead. What's that like? Gotta ask you the big question. What everyone wonders about. What happens after death? You wish me to tell you if the human belief in the gods is well founded? Well, that I do not know. We vampires differ exceedingly from you humans. Our matter, that of which we are composed, can exist without form. We require neither a heart, nor a brain, nor air to breathe. But were you dead? As humans understand death, yes. Feel anything? Understand anything? Hmm. It's rather hard to explain. I felt something very unsettling. Something I cannot even name, for I did no reasoning. Only after rebirth did I begin to understand that what I had felt was cold and unimaginable fear. If not for Detlaf, I might have drowned in an eternity of icy terror. I mean, he really owes everything to Detlaf. Can't have been alive then. Kind of explains why he really Sheesh. wants to help him. Experience like that must be vicious. Mm. Indeed, it's it's hard to compare to anything I know. Yet you are aware we don't see death as you do. The way you cling to life, we find it entirely peculiar. You are mortals. Ergo, it's a foregone conclusion. You will die. It's but a question of time. 
Thus, I often find myself wondering why you try so very hard. To die at 20 years, 40, even 100, what's the difference? They're all but the blink of an eye. For you, they are. Depends on your point of view. Man who's got a million crowns to spend can't possibly understand one who's only got 20. Very exactly. true. One's outlook can indeed change much. I wonder if he has the urge to... Oh, I guess this question. Um, I thought that this was abstinence in the traditional sense of the word, but... Um, I wonder if he has the urge to, like, change people. It sounds like he's not drinking blood, but I wonder if he has... if How that works, I guess. Got a new life, new body. That give you a new start, blank slate. Starting all anew is a very broad concept. What exactly do you mean? Your blood addiction, say. Wondering if your body's the same, if it still remembers. Maybe if you drank now, you wouldn't get hooked. All addictions are a form of slavery. Re-addiction's not a risk I'm willing to take, just okay. to test a hypothesis about corporeal regeneration and whether propensities carry over. Fair enough. Curiosity, that's all. You could feel Sorry. him getting tense there. Not to worry, Geralt. Curiosity is a natural reaction under the circumstances, apart from which I've always valued that trait in you. Okay, and what is, like, what is regeneration? Do you, like, do you feel it? Is it painful? Always fascinated me the way vampires can regenerate. A hand growing back is one thing, but Detloff recreating you out of a wet smear? Something else entirely. A difficult and laborious process, but one that's possible. As my presence proves, but, but, I've heard you too had quite the adventure. They say you lost your memory. Yeah, but that's not the same, and that's not what I'm asking. For a bit. <laughs> But Triss helped me get it back. Actually, pretty damn lucky I only had amnesia. Yes, you humans are rather buggered in those terms. To strip you of life is, well, it's just plain easy. I've always pitied you in that regard. Thanks. We vampires are much harder nuts to crack. If a member of another race kills one of us, we can be reborn with a living hire vampire's help. However, if one of our own strikes the deadly blow, Death is permanent. Oh. There can be no rebirth. One of the chief reasons why vampires long ago swore never to fight one another. So... Huh. That's interesting. The... The time when he jumped in to save us, and he got the... He got... Um, uh, he got the other vampire's claws, like, right through his chest. That's not a killing blow, I guess... Still the traditional ways of killing vampires, maybe, or... I'm not sure. What is it that you want to ask me? Is there something that you just want to come out and All get right. to the point? Give you one question. What do you want to know? One question to ask one as fascinating as you, Geralt. Cruel parsimony, I'd say. But I shall do my best to make it count. If you were to die and be reborn as I was, in your new life, would you choose to be a witcher? Hmm. I don't think I would choose to be anybody else. I like where we've come from, what, what we've become. See, Regis. Doubt I'd know how to be anything else. Ever tried? See, you're determined to get an answer. To find out if I like being a witcher. Just refuse to ask directly, as always. <laughs> I like being on the path. I like picking up a lead, a trail. I like the tension right before a fight. And nothing gets my adrenaline flowing like battling a beast. Even gotten used to people treating me like a freak, an outcast. Yeah. Not something I think about much, but I like being a witcher. I wonder if there's Thank you for being honest. Honesty is an attribute of the truly brave, and thus a privilege of the very few. I wonder if there's Still any no significance sign of, of the your friend. Sure, it understood what you wanted. At the headstone. Let's wait a bit longer. It'll return soon. Don't doubt that for a moment. Back. A 
ever vigilant, even in his sleep. Quite vampire-like, in fact. Are you absolutely certain they don't administer a few of our genes during the trial of the grasses? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Appreciate the compliment. Got something for me? You were right. No kobolds or mamoons for miles around. Knew it. Allow me to finish. You see, there's this spotted white. It haunts an abandoned residence in the Caraberta woods. Impossible. My brethren hunted down every last spotted white before I was born. Then it seems you must revise your knowledge of spotted whites. For somehow this one managed to survive your brethren's onslaught. Hmm. It seems I know this home it haunts. Recall a tale about it. Locals believe the place cursed. Perhaps that's how the white survived entirely unmolested. Do you know anything else about the white besides where it resides? Whites rarely appear in the woods, even less likely to find them in abandoned human homes. They inhabit remote wildernesses, old abandoned cemeteries. What's your point? This might not be a spotted white after all. Your little helper might have made a mistake. I sincerely doubt it. Ravens are devilishly intelligent creatures, and they've highly developed observational skills. What exactly did they observe? The area around the estate. It's covered in... spoons. Spoons? Sp spoons? <laughs> spare me the skeptical smile. I'm but the bearer of this news. Or perhaps this spotted white is a hoarder. Or the spoons are somehow related to the curse. Okay, what exactly do you know about this curse? Hmm. Know anything else about this curse? I don't recall much in particular. Really don't attach much importance to such things. It was mentioned to me as an anecdote, no more. Come on, search your memory. Something, anything could be important. Hmm. I believe it had a relation to hunger, or uh, no, um, perhaps greed, rapacity. Someone was punished for something. <laughs> Textbook definition of a curse, pretty much. Sorry, Geralt. I try not to clutter my mind with the details of every far-fetched tale I happen to hear. Hmm. What are your thoughts? A specimen of a species thought long extinct. And a curse. In one place. That a coincidence? No. Or are they related? Ah, professional No such curiosity. thing as coincidence. Personally, I've nothing against you delving into this dilemma, but please remember we need the White's saliva. Nothing beyond that. Okay, time to visit the white then. Let's do this. Start making your decoction while I go get some saliva from that white. Uses it in its bruise. Do you imagine the white will simply sell you some? Worst case scenario, I'll bring you its salivary glands. They ought to do as well. <laughs> For a moment there, I imagined you asking the white to spit into a vial. It could happen. <laughs> Quite amusing <laughs> as a thought, but the salivary glands will do fine indeed. So, see you later. It's probably gonna yes, not gonna later. like us. I shall start by perusing some tomes. Coming into its tomes. Home. Thought you were gonna make this decoction. We require one last ingredient. Alas, obtaining it could prove a trifle <laughs> toilsome. Of Thus course. I hope to identify a suitable alternative. Alright. Good luck. And to you, my friend. I like this guy. I really like Regis. Okay. Um we definitely want to read about these spotted whites. Let's see what we can find out. Make sure that we go into these things prepared. Um, what would they fall under? Clear out all these draconid ones. Warriors and workers, they're all very similar. Spotted whites and necrophage. Oh, so we've got whites and we've got spotted whites. Interesting. So whites, um, they say the dead are, they say the dead like quiet. I don't know about the dead, but whites certainly do. Though whites are ghastly and threatening in appearance, one should not approach them with sword drawn or attack them unprovoked. Left alone, they present no serious danger to anyone and are far more interested in mixing noxious brews and cauldrons than in fighting. These species lives, are mainly lives around ancient burial sites though they have also been spotted near more recently founded cemeteries and wherever mass graves can be found. Whites spend the winter months in a state of leth lethargy, or lethargy, very similar to human sleep. They live strictly solitary lives. In fact, it's practically unheard of for these creatures to appear in groups. Yet when they fear their territory is threatened, and it 
is enough for one to step foot in a white's territory for it to feel threatened. Whites transform, or whites transform, <laughs> whites transform into dangerous foes and even abandon their solitary ways to summon other monsters to their aid. Other monsters, okay. And spotted whites, the best defense against spotted whites, stay calm and leave them alone. Okay. Spotted whites were a subspecies of white with uh, which the witchers drove to extinction. All but apparently one. Uh, there were larger, they were larger than their unspotted kin and owed their names to the numerous blotches and effusions. Spotted whites would most often dwell in derelict cemeteries and empty wildernesses, yet at times took to living in abandoned human dociles. Um, there they would indulge in their greatest passion, crafting brews from their own emissions. Ugh. When not disturbed, spotted whites would not act aggressively. If threatened, however, they became very dangerous indeed. In the colder months, or when faced with an unseasonable chill, they would slip into a state of lethargy, making them easy targets. Uh, even during their active periods, it is said the Witchers found a surefire way of besting them, based around careful casting of the Irden sign, or at least so claims Witcher's lore. Okay. So, Irden, Igni, and Necrophage Oil for that battle. Okay. Now, we did say after we came to the Merit Le Chais Long Cemetery that uh, we were going to head over to whatever this is. And then we were finally going to go and meet, or look for this entrance, I should say, um, to the Professor's Laboratory in the flooded ruins of the Valley of the Nine. So, let's, uh, let's do that before we get too far ahead of ourselves here. Come on, Roach. And it is really close by. Probably didn't even need to take Roach here. Can we get to like a... Here we go. Let's get to a clearing. Okay, so looks like we found the entrance. It's right below us. But we also have, oh yeah, a monster now. Oh! Get away from these things! I'm gonna try not to get poison here. Doing a great job of that so far. Oh god. I gotta make sure I don't get sniped here. Get away from here. Just let us regenerate a little bit. Damn it. Damn it. Not good. Oh, again, just the greed gets me every time. Uh oh. Let's regenerate a bit here. Whoa! Woo -hoo! Looks like we got some golden Oriole as well. If I'm not mistaken, hold on. Poison now heals. Hey, that's actually pretty fantastic. That's what I should be doing. Totally forgot about it. Look at that. Oh, this is, this is the greatest now. Okay, the explosions, however, still bad. <laughs> These things are the worst. Back! 
Oh, I even tried to get back that time. Didn't hit it. There's one. Wow. Okay, so definitely Golden Oriole. Totally forgot Focus about that potion. Sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Get away. That'll do. Okay. Mostly some extracts. A lesser rune stone. Um, we should probably rest before we go looking for this entrance. We'll do so on the beach, hopefully somewhere a bit safer. Oh, cool. Can we not, uh... Here we go. Okay, so let's meditate just a bit. We'll go back and... I don't know if we need to throw on our decoctions right away. Let's just use the Ekamara for now. Don't need to keep our toxicity like maxed out all the time. Um, now we do have some some upgrades to do if we want. Uh, we actually have three available and we already maxed out everything that we're currently using. So the only advantage here would be if we want to try to unlock something else, which I do want to do. I think Whirl's the way to go, um, which means I should probably specialize a little bit more in this area. I do like kind of the alchemy stuff um, because we use a lot of potions. We gain a lot of benefits from the stuff that we're using, but there may be some in here that I could probably um, remove. But if you guys have any suggestions, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll see about incorporating those. But I... Oh, hello. Whoa. There's the entrance. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kill this thing. Okay, let's catch a breath here. at all these ruins under here. I should definitely go and check that out before we just head straight in. Hornwort. A little bit of money. Never hurt anybody. I see... Yeah, here we go. What's this? Some more treasure. Optima Mater. Cliff. Oh, hello! There's the actual entrance. Not under where I thought it was, but... I guess that's just a cave. That's not the actual entrance to the lab. The entrance to the lab looks like it's through this portal. Okay. Is that how it's gonna be? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Let's take a breather first, just in case. There's still miscellaneous things under here, but... This is not what I expected. Are we coming out? Oh no, we're coming out on... Well, land. Floor. Grave robber must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. 
what surprises this place has in store. Turn and face the strange. Someone's got. <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, we could just avoid them. Looks like. Check the other side just to be sure that we didn't miss anything really important. Jeez. There's something back there, which obviously I want. Whoa! Hello. What is that weapon? Meltith or Meltithe. Okay. It's not bad. It's not the greatest. Just to be sure, I'm gonna coin up here. Oh! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Is there anything in there? In the middle, maybe? Oh, there's something. Gnomish Whetstone, Armorer's Tools, and Toussaint Color Guardsman Gauntlets. Now, I haven't really been looking at the at the boots and stuff that we find. Although these ones are better, I kind of prefer wearing like a set of gear. Um, because we get bonuses from that. So uh, I kind of like that. The one thing that I see is it says Witcher Gear 0 of 6 must be upgraded to Grandmaster to unlock bonuses. And I have no clue how to do that. Alright. That was close. Yeah, this looks inviting. I should be fine here. Whoa. Whoa! I didn't need to use that. It was a bit wasteful. Oh, you guys hit hard. Whoa! This is not good. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna need to throw in that other decoction. So when we use stamina, we get vitality back. Come on. Whoa! Get confident. Okay, we're full healed now. They're quick like cats, too. Wow. Was that necessary? Great. Statues come to life. What else is going to be in our way here? 
So yeah, that's actually that that decoction I think is pretty essential for the amount of signs that we use. Anytime that we use stamina with our signs, um, it gives us vitality. Like that's really good. Do salt color guardsman armor. So like even that, like it gives us more armor, but look at all those resistances. And we get that free Quen. Okay, I'm tempted. else you want to throw at me down here? I'm ready for it. Oh, we're overburdened. Of course. That's actually... Um, it's not too bad. There's things that we can drop. Oh, we don't want to do that. Um, drop that. Drop these gloves. Drop some of these weapons that we're not using. Caretaker spade, definitely keeping that. Uh, these we can drop. Uh, the Anferth we can drop. Uh, it's actually worth quite a bit. 634 orns. Uh, we're at 159 or 160. Here, we'll get rid of these. Oh, no, don't want to do that. Remember, you can only change the color of items belonging to Witcher gear sets. You can use the preview option to see how an item will look after you apply a die to it. To do this, select the die, press E, and select the item you wish to die. At any time, you can use die remover to restore an item's original color, so there's no need to be timid. Go ahead and experiment. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, did that even change anything? Oh, we used the wrong one. We used the die remover. Oh, I see. Okay, so you just click on it. You can see exactly what it's doing. Oh, cool. I mean, I kind of like the red. Oh, well. Let's keep the red then. Um, look at that. That's very expensive. These gloves, I guess, we can drop. If we want to sort maybe by weight. 8.79. New moon armor. I like that. It's very cool, actually. I don't even know where we got this. Cavalry armor. I just hate to get rid of stuff that we could sell. Here, let's get rid of these. Oh no, it dropped. See, sometimes that inventory works a little bit strangely. In my opinion. Let's just keep what we have here. So we can definitely go down. I'm going to check the other side though. Actually, I think that might be where we need to go, so let's check here. Or it's probably connected. If I were to be a betting man. Ooh. Blood soaked. Grave robber was wounded while attempting the climb. Needed to bandage up. Managed to avoid the Panthers at least. Yeah, don't want to be going down there. How did he avoid the Panthers, though? That's the real question here. Yeah, okay, and this is where we drop down from here. A dull meteorite axe. Is that something that would be important to us? I don't even see it. Maybe it's not a weapon.
rotting flesh. Yum. Hmm. Oh, here's the diary. Since certain suspicious individuals have begun hanging around outside my laboratory, I have been forced to implement additional security measures. I suspect they are but common criminals looking for something shiny to steal and have no real interest in my research, but better safe than sorry. Furthermore, on the advice of an engineer acquaintance of mine, I've decided to secure the premises with a simple mechanical apparatus in one of the rooms along the route to the laboratory. <laughs> or laboratory, depending on where you're from. I've installed a mechanism for locking and unlocking the doors, which is operated by pressing four protruding stones placed high up on the walls. I can bypass this lock with ease by using a simple spell, but a common thief will be faced with a double challenge. First, you must notice these stones and puzzle out their purpose. Then you must find a way to press them. Illegible fragment. I'm guessing because of this crossbow here that that would, uh, that would be our way of finding them. Oh god. It's a panther. Is this the room? I'm not sure. This could be it. Is this thing gonna come to life? Yep! Whoa! Shit! Didn't I just do this? At least it's just one this time. I'm not so worried about it. Wow. That's better. Okay, so we have multiple ways to go. This side, unless we have the eye. No. Ah, there they are. Look at that. I wonder... Is that... I don't think that's doing anything. Hmm. The mystery lives on. 